Hey everybody, Talking Dictionary here again, <laughs> and again and again. Today's definition shall be the word soliloquy. What soliloquy really means, and what we really all want to know, is it means really talking to oneself when no one else is present. That's what soliloquy means. A discourse uttered with none to hear. A speech of this nature made by a character in a play. It's a, you know, being a soliloquist, I'm assuming that's what a person who talks to oneself is called, since a solilo soliloquy is when you speak and no one is there. So a solilo soliloquist would be somebody who just talks to themselves, you know? It's just not really a bad thing to talk to oneself. One of the good things about talking to oneself is that you don't really have to put up in, with any kind of you know, annoying um, people. That's a good thing about talking with oneself. Also, the other good things about talking to oneself, conversations can get really interesting. See, when you talk to yourself, you don't need to actually explain in detail what you're trying to say. It can just be like, you know, oh yes, remember that time and that thing, it moved over there. See, see, I, see how easy that was? I obviously don't have to explain to myself what incident it is that I was referring to. I could just say, yes, and then that time it moved, yes, and it went over there, and there was this huge, oh yeah, I remember that time. That was a very good memory, you see? I don't have to explain the details of that good memory because I was uh, soliloquying with myself. I was talking to myself. Well, you know, if you're explaining to a person, you would have to explain to them, oh, there was this huge building, then I went into the building and I took a bath, and then I broke the person's chair and I came out and then I punctured the uh, tires of the car that my boss drives in. So it's just so detailed, you know, and also when you're talking to another person, other people can overhear. And sometimes the person you're talking to doesn't even like you and doesn't even want to hear anything you have to say to begin with. So it's just so much more fun, you know, like talking to yourself when you can just say, <laughs> and you look at his face. of doing that more often because um you know when you talk to yourself you actually start getting to know yourself better you know it's that's one of the good things about life is that the more you talk to yourself the more you get to know yourself better well there are some people that are just not even worthy to talk to you know because they have nothing to offer to say they're just absolutely they just have no input into anything they can only talk about selected topics and uh those are the kind of people you really can't talk to at all, see? So I think it's better to soliloquy yourself and to be a soliloquist and to talk to yourself. This way you don't have to explain in detail, you know, or have worry about anyone passing judgment on you. So remember, folks, a soliloquist is someone who talks to themselves. And that's one of the good things about talking to yourself is that you can just go on and on. You can go on and on and on. And when your mouth gets tired of talking, you can just keep talking to yourself in your head all the time like that. And it just goes on and on and on. That's one of the good things about talking. You know, you can talk. You know, I wonder if you can get a ticket for talking and walking at the same time. Or is that jaywalking? Or oh, jaywalking is when you go when it's a green light. No, nope, that's when it's walk. Oh, it's don't walk. No, it's don't walk and then you walk and then you get jaywalking. But I don't think you can get a ticket when you're talking and walking at the same time. Though you might get a ticket if you're talking and running at the same time. I don't know who gives tickets. You know, they just don't give um, tickets to, like, tickets is such a bad word. It just, you know, it's not even like a prize, but, uh, anyway, so that's the definition of soliloquy and being a soliloquist. So this is Talking Dictionary here, bringing you definitions and um, lots of things worth defining and learning about words.